Y'all, I'm gonna put this link to this article in the description box. And this right here is interesting. So, y'all who watch my video over the time, y'all know me to talk about how they kill over the years. Well, there is a TikToker who been in the car industry. He's been in the car industry for 15 years. And because of his experience, he's sharing to stay away from Honda and Kia. Now, based on the articles that I've been reading and doing video on with the Honda and Kia, due to the uh, car that they've going on with them car, that's what I thought was the initial reason uh, to stay with them car, because based on what I've been seeing going on with that situation. But let me let y'all uh, listen to a uh, 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 play a video and let you listen to his reason. Uh, staying away from this car, and he's a TikToker named by Yan Yang Tan. I, I think that's pronounced. I think I mispronounced uh, that. But, let, in the automotive industry. but I'm gonna let y'all listen to Yar Tan. That's the name, Yar Tan. I'm gonna let y'all listen to what he had to say and why he said the, the reason why people should stay away for Honda and Kia. It's safe to say that I'm an expert in my field. Um, I've been in the automotive industry for over 15 years now, and I was a mechanic for almost 10 years. Worked extensively in service departments, front to back, and I now work in mechanical claims very similar to insurance. So with all that said, I wholeheartedly avoid... It's, it's kind of neck and neck, but this is the one brand that I avoid vehemently. I will never buy new or used ever, period. And that is going to be Hyundai Kia. Okay, now hear me out. I know that they fool the eye with their very nice interiors. They have a lot of great design teams who make great interiors to look at. However, the engines, transmissions, and drivetrains on these cars are Timu quality. Like, they are from Wish because they are so bad so prone to failure i'm looking at a 2020 kia telluride right now and it has let's see it has 50,000 miles on it okay it needs an engine you want to know why because the bank one exhaust camshaft actuator uh sheared there's a dowel pin that i guess it mounts to the camshaft uh, and the actuator and that pin sheared off created a ton of metal shavings in the engine and now the engine's fried in a 2020 with less than the powertrain warranty mileage um this vehicle is a second owner so you know we're gonna have to take care of it but not only is this car going to need an engine, Kia engines are on a severe back order right now. You can't even find them from Kia. They're not making enough to supply the demand for these engines because they are so prone to failure. Some of these cars are in the shop for months. I had a Kia claim the other day. Let's pause there for a moment. Listen to what he just said. Prone to failure. Now keep with that specific, specific statement in mind. Because I'm going to replay the whole video again. And, and I'm going to be going somewhere with this. Especially with that statement. He said it prone to failure. But let's continue. Where we authorized an engine last year. Literally a year ago to the date. And the engine finally came in. And the car was just in the shop because it was dead. It's, you can't drive it. You know what I'm saying? So Kia, Hyundai, Genesis, stay the fuck away from them. And the next runner up is going to be Stellantis. Anything Mopar, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, stay away from them too. I can make another video on those. But Kia, Hyundai, Genesis, those are my, that's my top brand to stay away from. New or used. Now. You heard the video in entirety. Now I'm gonna play it again, and I'm gonna give my opinions and thoughts on certain things, especially 
with that part he said prone to failure. So let's go into this again. It's safe to say that I'm an expert in my field. Um, I've been in the automotive industry for over 15 years now, and I was a mechanic for almost 10 years. Worked extensively in service departments, front to back, and I now work in mechanical claims very similar to insurance. So with all that said, I wholeheartedly avoid it's, it's kind of neck and neck, but this is the one brand that I avoid vehemently. I will never buy new or used ever, period. And that is going to be Hyundai Kia. Okay, now hear me out. I know that they fool the eye with their very nice interiors. They have a lot of great design teams who make great interiors to look at. However... The engines, transmissions, and drivetrains on these cars are Timu quality. Like, they are from Wish because they are so bad. Now, let's stop here. Let me get my thoughts on that. What he said about the transmission and the engine so bad. Now, I don't doubt him on that. Why do D-Lo... 2894 don't doubt him on that because think about all the articles that been cropping up and think all the think about all the articles I've been doing on my channel. How many times I've done articles about these uh cars? There have been times where Hyundai Kia have been recalled for bad engine. Other brand of cars have been called for that same situation too, but specifically, we talk about Honda Kia at the moment. They, Honda and Kia do got a history of being we call for bad injuries. And I know because I read and done the videos on and the articles on them. So, that's the reason why I don't doubt him when he say that. Let's continue. Prone to failure. I'm looking at a 2020 Kia Telluride right now, and it has let's see, it has 50,000 miles on it. Okay, it needs an engine. You want to know why? Because the Bank One exhaust camshaft actuator uh, sheared. There's a dowel pin that I guess it mounts to the camshaft uh, and the actuator and that pin sheared off created a ton of metal shavings in the engine and now the engine's fried. And now what he just described has been some of the legitimate reason why some of those high Kia have been recalled when they've been recalled for uh uh engine def defect the engine and, and also the same way with other blender cars too so prone to failure and we ain't there yet but i just want to say this All these stuff that going on with e-cars, even though we talking about Kia, Hyundai, in general, in my personal opinion, it all go, and, and I've been saying this in, in in multiple videos. I done said this in multiple videos. I always felt any major car problem always get drawn back to the way it's been made. But let's continue. In a 2020 with less than the powertrain warranty mileage, um, this vehicle is a second owner. So, you know, we're going to have to take care of it. But not only is this car going to need an engine, Kia engines are on a severe back order right now. You can't even find them from Kia. They're not making enough to supply the demand for these engines because they are so prone to failure. Some of these cars 
are in the shop for months. I have a Kia. Now that's bad. How can when it comes to these, these cars, when it comes to being women, how can that? How can some of these property cars get to get to a point where they so uh, prone to failures? And how can they get to a point where when where the supplies are so short? How did this situation get this far? That's the only question I got about that segment of the video. What he said. And that sounds familiar too because wasn't there another brand of car that was dealing with some sort of shortage when it comes to car parts? I believe there was. But let's continue. Claim the other day where we authorized an engine last year, literally a year ago to the date. And the engine finally came in and the car was just in the shop because it was dead it's, you can't drive it you know what i'm saying so kia hyundai genesis stay the fuck away from them and the next runner up is going to be stellantis anything mopar alfa romeo fiat stay away from them too i can make another video on those now he missed in the next car he feel as long as way it's stellantis they had a fair share of issues too And I said this before. I don't know how these people in these car men for make these cars. But it's a shame all this problem is going on with these vehicle. And then these people got the audacity that charge the consumer out here an arm and leg for these cars. What's wrong with all that? That's why I think in my opinion is the most major insulting things. You got all these uh, issues going on with these cars, and you charge these people at a price that is highly ridiculous. You charge people at a at a price weight in the form of fashion like you think they're gonna eat the car. That's the fashion that you, that these people out here charge these people charge the consumer out here for these cars. And you charge them in 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 certain form of fashion, and you got all this stuff going on these cars. I'm gonna tell you something. If I'm gonna pay a ridiculous sky high price for a car, it at least better last me twenty years. It better last me 20, 20 to 30 years. It at least better do that if, if I'm going to pay that much for a car. These sky high prices that people pay for these cars nowadays, if you're going to pay for a car that much, at least let the consumer who buys this car, at least let them get a good 30 years out of it. But how you going to how you going to get even 20 years out of it if you got all these issues going on with it? How can anybody spend any car of today that lasts a long time when apparently these issues are going on? This is crazy to me. But Kia Hyundai Genesis. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I will link the link to the archive in the description right there. And the link to the archive will have the link to the uh TikTok video which I just played for y'all but tell me what y'all think about this I, I we don't we don't know what else to say about this because I, I, I'm still can't believe and in a sense I'm not too surprised but at the same time you think about all this stuff going on with these cars and yet think about the prices that the consumers out here pay it's a crying shame. I'm out.